it's very important especially for the interviews they can ask you like create a store procedure and write a query like uh, if there is a day one it's a so monday if there is a day two it's a so tuesday and like that uh, day three day four and day five it's a so friday and day six and seven it's a so weekend okay so then how you will write that query now you will call this procedure call like you know call week and inside that if you will write one you'll see monday come back to the another chapter of mysql series today our topic is store procedure in sql all right so we will understand everything about the store procedure today so first we will understand what is the store procedure see the basically store procedure is a group of SQL, SQL statement which is store in store procedure. Now we will understand what is the purpose of using a store procedure. Basically store procedure be used for those query which is not possible to write in simple SQL. So everything we will understand with the examples how we can create a store procedure how we can set the parameter how we can use a uh, particular condition in into this so without any further delay let's get started so first we will understand what is the syntax of store procedure okay there are a two method method to use uh, create a store procedure first you can use like you know delimiter you have to write delimiter then create a store procedure this is the syntax then you have to write your procedure name the parameter you want to set then again then you will write beginning inside the beginning and end you will write your sql statement whatever you want to execute then again delimiter a semicolon like that you can create your store procedure okay then another way to write a store procedure you just have to click on the database variable just expand it and then what you have to do you just have to click on this store procedure okay and click on after clicking on just right click and press the create store procedure then a new window will pop up on your screen but here what you have to do just simply you have to write your store procedure name for example i write my pro sorry my procedure okay in the beginning and end between these two i write a sql statement for now i will just write a simple statement like you know select select star from student i will click on the apply then again apply and finish it okay uh, if you will now refresh here you will see our store procedure has been created let's just expand this and this is our store procedure if you will run this you will get another way to create the same store procedure what you have to do because i will drop this first and then i will sh uh, show you okay another way to create a store procedure you can just simply what you have to write you have to write like you know delimiter double slash then create procedure now what we will do we will write the procedure name like i will write here my row okay then close the bracket the parameter things we will learn later on all right and then i will write begin and then what will be our uh, sql statement for example i will write select star from student okay and then we will end it and the last what we will write we will end with this double slash okay because here we are closing our statement all right then again we will write delimiter so now as you can see if you want to call this store procedure what you will write you will write call my my pro and execute it you will see all the information inside that procedure like we whatever query we have executed it will show it in your procedure okay in my pro all right so i hope everybody understand how we can create store procedure using a different different method okay now let's uh, see what if i want to 
modify this like uh, I want to do some changes in this store procedure so what we have to do we have to drop it and write it again all right but you don't have to drop here the your table you just have to go to here you know here in the procedure whatever we have created just click on it there is a one icon you will see setting icon just click on it you'll the new window will pop up in your screen here you can edit your procedure here you are not you don't have to drop it and uh, write it again just simply like a, here you did where std is equal to one this is what i want to do for example all right now what i will do i will just apply here what is happening in this case we are using we are execute uh, sorry we are dropping and again it get executed but we didn't do manually right and we just click on apply finish now if you will see here uh, sorry where is it okay now if you will call this store procedure like you know call my pro sorry my pro you will see whatever we have the condition like you know where close we have shown right where student id is equal to one okay so i hope everybody understand how we can edit the existing procedure all right now we will understand how we can set the parameter inside the store procedure all right but here what we are doing like for example i call this my pro i'm getting information of student id one again i if i want a student id 2 information what i have to do i will go back in the setting i will edit from here and i will apply apply and finish it then i will go back again i will call this then i will get the information of student id 2 but i wanted that whenever i call my processor 1 it should show the information of student id 1 whenever i call my procedure 2 it should show the information of student id 2 whenever i write my pro 3 it should show the information of student id 3 okay so let's understand how we can do that because here it's showing all the information whatever we have given condition inside that okay as you can see over here all right but now what we will do here now we will modify this we will give some parameter okay what we will do i will write delimiter we can do it from here also but i will show you how you can directly write okay what i will do we will write delimiter then i will write the create let me copy paste from here create procedure this time I will give the name of this procedure like uh, what you can give uh, you can write my my pro 2 okay and inside this bracket what we will write we want all the time whenever we write 1 2 3 it should show information of the those right so we will write num because we are using num for what for the student id you can write std also whatever name you want to give it you can write it. okay for example i will write std then number will be what integer right i can write int then what i will do here i will write begin with select star from whatever column you want you can write like this also but i am using the all the column like you can write from students okay sorry the student where std means student id is equal to std here you will copy paste or you can use here also like you know num is equal to num whatever it's all your choice whatever you will write in the parameter same thing you have to write in the statement okay so i will use a num for for now i will use where student id is equal to num it should be integer all right then what if 
and I will run this query. Oh, sorry. I will use semicolon, then end it and delimiter again. And I will hit control. Enter. Okay. Now, what will happen whenever you call this store procedure like store procedure one, you will get all the like, you know, from the batch with two, right? Use base two dot. What was our procedure name? My procedure two. Now you'll see, you'll get the information of student ID one. If you will see, you will write two, you will get the information of student ID two. Whenever you will write five, you will get the information of student ID five. So like that, you can use your store procedure. Okay. So you can see here. So another way to run this, you can go here directly. Just click on this flash icon write the info whatever information you want because here in the parameter what you have to give what did you give the num student id so whatever student id you will write here like i will write four and execute it you will get the information of that okay but simplest way to do this you can write like that all right i hope everybody understand how we can set the parameter okay now we will understand how to write a conditional statement okay for example if marks is, is greater than 33 then pass else fail so these kind of statement we want to write it down so how you will create a store procedure like that you just what you have to do the, the procedure name this time we will give condition okay okay the we will give a parameter name as a marks you can give anything marks What is our if condition we will write if marks is greater than 33 then what we want the result should be like you know select pass as a result okay and we will use semicolon then what was our second condition until here one condition get satisfied okay now we want fail also so for that what we will write else select fail fail as a result and we will end see whenever you are writing a if condition you have to end with if then again you have to write a end this end for ending the this statement particular statement but this end for ending the our procedure okay we will write in double slash again delimiter and semicolon you will execute this query sorry from here you can execute it oh there is some manually complete okay see the condition name we have to write in this so this is not quote this is the you know i don't know what you call for this it's above your tab or uh, below your escape button okay so whenever you are writing you have to write in this code this is opposite code you can say this is not like a normal code like you know this is not like you know condition not like this so this is our opposite like you know this one this one we are using okay so you will execute this query let's test this uh, procedure it is giving our correct result or not so for that i will write call back. this is our database name dot now we will write our procedure name condition and inside this condition we will write let's test 22 let's write 22 so it's showing ours fail because it's less than 33 okay let's try this 80 this time it will show pass let's try this time if you will write 34 it will show pass okay 
so i hope everybody understand how we can use condition over here okay so let's write one more condition uh, like this only the if condition we will write for example if number is positive then print positive if number is negative then print negative like if number is one then it should show positive result if number is minus one it should show negative result okay so then how you will write that to write this simply what we have to do i will copy paste this we will write our procedure name what do you want to give the your procedure name for example i will write uh, this time what i want to write man it is difficult to find the name sometimes you know let's let's write positive or let's write numbers numbers okay and then inside that here we are we are gonna use a numbers right so i will write like number here you can choose as per your choice this para parameter name okay i'm not saying use number only number will be our integer okay then what we will do in begin we will write if number see this number is not a procedure name it's a parameter okay if number is greater than zero then select positive as a result okay semicolon else select negative as a result okay we will just copy paste from here and we will execute this query okay now if you will call batch to dot number numbers now it's showing positive if you're using one it's showing positive now if you're using minus one it's showing negative but what if you will use a zero then what will you show negative only right but it should it's not should so the positive and negative it should so zero only right because zero is not positive number even it is not negative number so for that kind of condition we will edit this parameter to edit this i will just go back here i don't want to do it from here because it's gonna give me a big headache so i will just go back here here what i will do i will change this condition what i will do here until here i will keep it same here i will write else if condition okay in else if condition i will write if number is if number is less than zero then it should so negative but else select zero as a result hit the control uh, sorry you cannot hit the control enter here oh wait a minute okay just go, apply apply and finish it now if you will run this query also is showing zero okay so this is the right way see one uh, let's understand with the one more example it's very important especially for the interviews they can ask you like create a store procedure and write a query like uh, if there is a day one it should show monday if there is a day two it should show tuesday and like that uh, day three day four and day five it should show friday and day six and seven it should show weekend okay so then how you will write that query to write this kind of query and create this kind of procedure what you have to do until here you will just copy paste and now what you will do here this time i will give this procedure name as a week and here we are gonna use a day we will create our parameter as a day okay 
I will begin with the select command. Now what I want in select command, we can use a if condition also, or you can use a case statement also. If you remember while I was teaching a decal command, that time I teach you how we can use a case statement. Simply what you have to do here, you will write when, sorry, when day is equal to one, then Monday. When day is equal to two, then it's also Tuesday. Okay, so until here, here is five and for the weekend six, seven, right? We can write use a our in six, seven, then it should so, then it should so weekend, right? Else, because there is a chance now when somebody can write 8, 9, 10. So we have to give condition for that also. In else, what we will write? We will write out of the out of range. Okay. And you will close the statement with the int as a result. And again, you will write in double slash delimiter. And you will hit the control enter. Now you will call this procedure call like you know call week and inside that if you will write one you'll see monday if you write two you'll see tuesday if you write five you'll see friday if you write six you'll see weekend if you will write 10 it will show out of range if let's create the one same procedure using a nested if but the query becomes so lengthy that is why i don't like the narrative but this time i will procedure name we will change it we will just copy paste here i will just quickly write and then i will explain okay so another way to write this same query you can write this time i change the procedure name as you can see weeks i use here this is a week so that is why it's showing i declare same thing now i use if day is equal to one then select monday as a result else if day is equal to two and the query becomes so lengthy i don't like that's why the nested if i like a case it is very easy to write so this is the another way to write you can write the query like this also okay i hope everybody understand let's test if you want to test you can test like you know call weeks i will write one it will show monday if you write a five it will show friday if you write a six it will show weekend that's it for today till then happy learning Keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.